So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I step back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Give it up on you. On you. Even though I know you will tell me to. If you're out there, I'll find you. What the hell? Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, hey okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, Salt Flats east of Silver Lake. <sighs> If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. charged. So that means, that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we 
can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. And what? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? And you know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? Been out in this shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounties worth that. This is it. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. Do you see your man? Yeah, that's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss. Oh, see about that. Oh, hell yeah, no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
That last of them. Let's go deal with your man.